folks, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ashley, if you're tuning in for the first time, and today I've teamed up with Linda Wig to bring you this beautiful pixie cut wig. Now, it is a little bit of a short vibe, which may be out of the comfort zone for some people, but I'm here to show you a few different styles and a way to install, bond it, style it in a couple different ways that will make it a little bit more versatile. We're going to do the no part, which you guys see here, which is kind of like the oh, I just want to flip it over. Oh, I just want to flip it over. Oh, I just want to flip it over. I'm going to show you how it looks with a half up half down a center part and also like pinned back really cute the lace on this one is chef's kiss it is absolutely gorgeous i have no powder on the hairline and you guys can see how beautiful it looks now i did opt for a little bit of baby hair and i think it looks so amazing with the curls as well as the cut as well as the lace let me know what you guys think but without further ado let's go ahead and jump right into the tutorial I fell in love with Ashley Down in Miami, we got nasty I'm not ashamed, I'm not ashamed Okay, babies, so today I am teaming up with Linda Wig to bring you a beautiful pixie cut install. First of all, let's go ahead and look at the inside construction of the cap because a lot of times that is a lot of a lot of the time, that's a question I'll get. I feel like I show the inside construction of the cap in majority of my videos, if not all. So let's look at that. And as you guys can see, this is a lace frontal wig. It is a free part, so you can part down the center, you can part down the sides. Um, on the front, it does say it is a lace front wig. It, the texture is curly. It's 180% density and it's eight inches in length. These dimensions are key. So if you want to purchase this wig, of course, it's linked in the description box and you'll be able to, um, you know, see for reference what this one is so that if there's something on the side that you want and you see this one's 180, if you want less, more lengthwise and all that, you guys have um, the team. I love their packaging, like the purple lavender mix. And then inside the box, I did get a purple um, edge brush and then also a pack of wig caps, and then just some information on the company. Really quickly, let me show you guys what it looks like from the back. Keep in mind, I did go to the sink beforehand, and I did um, go ahead and shampoo and condition um, literally about 20 minutes ago, and it's been sitting, unfortunately, in the wet rag, which I probably should have hung it up to start to like dry a little bit. Um, so yeah, let me show you the back. hairline appears to be pre-plucked really really nicely um, of course you can go in and do a lot more you guys know you can finesse with just this also the texture of the hair is absolutely gorgeous you got a lot of lace going on in the front but of course there's no issue with that because we're gonna cut all of it off I'm going to go ahead and sh cut off the excess lace. So I did the lace around the ear, which is pretty easy. Typically, you always, almost always will have to like cut a little bit of lace around the ear unless you got a big wide head, which is no shade or no problem. But now I don't think we need to do anything to the hairline. I think it's perfect for me. But for now, let's just go ahead and cut off the excess lace. You guys know I do sometimes go back and forth. Sometimes I prefer to cut off the excess lace um, before I bond it down. And sometimes I prefer to cut bond it down first. Today I'm going to cut it off first, um, which is probably my most common way of doing it. Probably my favorite way to be honest. And also to be honest, because this is a pixie, I kind of would prefer to go behind the ear. You guys see how we have this flap here that is can be sideburns. I kind of feel like this is going to be more flattering, especially because of how pretty it looks behind the ears without the sideburn. Um, just because I can make full sideburns out of the lace. And you guys can see it's not bonded down at all and it looks good along the hairline. Of course, if you flip it in the front because it does have a widow's peak, it definitely, the widow's peak will lift, but I can cut that widow's peak off. You can literally skip 
bonding it down if we want so again if you purchase this wig or just any wig in general and it comes with that little pe widow's peak in the front you just pull the hair in the widow's peak forward like so and be sure to not to pull too much forward and you see how well that blends with the hairline now you can just cut The widow's peak off so now it fits my hairline and it looks like what my hair looks like so let's go ahead and go ahead and speed through bonding the wig down like I went ahead and bonded it down from ear to ear and we should be good to go um, I also did just take a couple of seconds to kind of like semi begin the process of drying the hair probably not a good idea because you guys know when you blow dry without like a diffuser or product you may get a little bit more frizz and that's kind of like what I got where it kind of pulled some of the definition out and made it more frizzy but of course I'm gonna add a styling product in just a moment um, I'm probably gonna use mousse but maybe something different but before we do that, let's go ahead and focus on the hairline. I am going to um, pull the hair back so that we can emphasize the hairline. I'm going to do like very, very, very light and minimal baby hair, mainly just right here. I don't think I need it on the side. I'm going to edge control the sides. But if you guys see when you pull the hair, the baby hair forward and excuse like the white flakes, that's just because I um, used a hairspray to bond it down. So the hairspray will um dry and get maybe a little bit flaky sometimes but when you pull the hair forward it makes it so that you barely see that line you're more so seeing the knots and like where the hair starts right here but once we melt it down you'll barely be able to see the line mousse which I am almost out of this one but might have a backup and then just my H2O of course I have it styled amazingly in my Bedeck Beauty spray bottle now this is a continuous spray bottle so when you push it one time it gives you a nice full even flow because we blow dry the front a little bit I kind of feel like those curls turned into frizz Can we take a minute to appreciate the hairline and how beautiful it looks? I love when I'm able to do a um, very like short, 
maybe here where it's not like long and thick and it kind of like all the pieces are imperfect and go in different ways for example there's a little bit more than right here it's not perfectly swooped and that just gives more so the facade of a natural um baby hair situation in my opinion but i really do like the way it looks half up half down i you can make it more realistic by actually parting it out to see the part some people feel like the parting makes it look more realistic and then some people feel like it looks less you guys can see how good the hairline and parting looks so i think it will look more realistic on this wig because they provided such amazing lace but i do love it like this now this isn't how we're going to wear it where we're going to wear it down but i just wanted to give you guys some versatility in seeing that whenever you buy a short wig especially when you're going towards the pixie cut length you definitely can get you know a couple more styles in you don't have to just wear it straight back or to the side or whatever you can wear it in actual styles and i think i killed this one but then let's go ahead and just see how it looks in the middle part and then down oh we might have wi-fi back okay so i took some pictures of the hair like this keep in mind with it being up you can just like twist it into a bun to prefer it down obviously opposed to that bun you can also do, um, I don't really want to mousse it down until we've decided on a style, just because I feel like I want the mousse to help it to like set in place. I do prefer this one with no parting, even without having to customize it myself, but the lace is so, so beautiful and natural that like, it almost is an asset to utilize the parting. Then you can use some water or some mousse to kind of help set that parting in. And just play it up. Let it get messy and full. But yeah, center part is definitely very complimentary to this one. I don't know. Maybe the center part is the best choice. You guys know I have a sudden urge to kind of like use the heat or even the wax stick to kind of like give this a little bit more like shine and make it stand out a little bit more but maybe it is best if i don't okay now with this you can definitely do like some pins especially to show off that hairline just take you can also use like your um what do we just use rubber bands and make two ponytails which is very much either spice girl or childlike your pick But you can go to Pilates and put a, like your yoga uh, pants on and your cute little top or just your sports bra if that's your vibe and just twist it again. If you got nails or even if you don't, try to like pull apart the hair so that it can to some capacity show a little bit of parting. And to me, that looks almost the most flattering, I'll say. and pin it giving a little flirty fun spice girl vibe again when i'm with my kids or doing a sport or something it's a vibe okay i think i somehow like that style the most but let's just see what it looks like straight back we didn't really give straight back uh oh a chance so removing the body bobby pins that's just kind of like flirt it up I feel like this is corporate Ashley, boss Ashley. I don't want to use a lot of mousse because I don't want to make it wet and I also don't want to make it crunchy. So I'm going to just take this amount and kind of see if I can get exposed as much of the hair to that amount. So that way, you know, it has it, but not too crazy. And excuse these pieces coming out when you cut the lace. Remember to detangle the hair so that it doesn't... Um, not to tangle, but like brush the hair so that all of the pieces, all of the fallout pieces from cutting the lace can come out. I think I like this the most. Now I am using way more mousse than I want to because it is again raining in LA. So for fear of going out to go do my target pickup. And may possibly making one or two extra stops. Don't want the frizz. 
to cancel out my look but I love this the most this is the most grown and sexy it's also easy and effortless um in the mornings you just or at night actually you can take your bidet beauty melt belt featured here mine is dirty because I actually use my own products daily and you just put it around the hairline for your shower so that when it gets a little bit wet this will leave this one after you get out the shower like while you get dressed and stuff and it'll like re-dry that adhesive that got wet when it dries back down with the melt belt it's almost like it'll like re suction and re dry down so you don't have to worry about um like rebonding it down if that makes any sense on a daily basis but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go i hope you guys enjoyed this easy install it was so easy that we were able to include what three or four styles um in here just really quickly to show you guys when you do a shortcut of I always tell you guys my husband loves me in a good shortcut. He loves me, loves me, loves me in a shortcut. So he's going to love this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Smooches. Oh, 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 you okay? Mm -hmm. Say hi to my friends. Say hi to my friends. Hola. Hola. All right, I'll be down in a sec, okay? Okay. Love you.